their poultry netting area and I shrunk it down so it's just around these because I'm about to move the steers in here and I want them to have maximum access. Well, good morning. I'm Mark. Welcome back to the farm. We ended the last video with a question unanswered about whether the pocket gopher in the ground was dead or whether it had simply come off my line and was too smart to get back into the trap. Uh, today, I have an answer. So if you'll recall, I had set the gopher trap in the hole, having seen the gopher pushing dirt out to make its mound. And I got the trap in there, the trap went off and the line got pulled because it didn't kill the gopher, but the gopher was pulling back on it. When I pulled the line out, it felt like something released, like maybe the critter escaped. The answer to the mystery is, it didn't die. It's just too smart to get back in the trap. You can see that the trap is still unsprung there, but dirt has been piled up against it. So that thing didn't even come very far up the tunnel. It just started pushing mounds of dirt. And there it is. And there's just a bunch of dirt stacked up in there. So I need to wait for it to come out again. The question is, will it be too smart to get into the trap in a different hole? I don't know the answer to that question, but I imagine I'm going to find out in time. Well, good morning. It's time to move pretty much everybody today. Just working out that way. I've had the steers out of this area here for four days, a little longer than I wanted to, but uh, yeah, they're over there looking at me like, are we doing something? They're pretty smart. And uh, I'm going to move them oh, over here into the sun. So you can't, oh, you can't really see it, but a nice green pasture over here. That's the objective. And, and it's a pretty complex process. I'm going to open up this fence here to the back of the mule. And I'm going to open up this fence uh, here, here to the front of the mule and just leave it open and they'll walk to the, to the green grass. That's, uh, that's kind of what they do. So we'll see how that goes. That's how it goes. Just like that. So they'll spend the day cleaning all this up. Some happy boys right there though. Yeah, I could put out the, like the most expensive cow food on the planet and they're gonna ignore it right now because they have green grass. Life is good for them right now. All right, now that I got that, I'm just gonna finish cleaning up my cords and things I'm gonna set the power for it way down at the other end because you can see I've created my perimeter here and it stretches way out so I've got you know this paddock I've got the next paddock already set up uh, pasture area I mean and then uh, so I can put my power way down there so that I won't have to move that again for you know a week which is uh, which is a good thing so that's where I'm gonna put that then I'm gonna come back I'm going to pull some of this fencing out of the way and then I got to move the hens from where they've been over here to where the cows were. Yep. Oh, I forgot to mention one of the things that made this uh, a little less time consuming at this time is I was able to drain the water tank, but rather than have to wash that, move it, get it put in place and then filled up again. When I did all this, I actually got a second water tank which I've put in place over here already. I put it in place last night, so it was ready to go this morning. 
So that's helpful. Then I should be able to just leapfrog the tanks every couple of days. Big girls are all set. Remove some extension cords, put in the energizer for the steers fence, and then feed the little ones. All right, got all those guys fed. I'm not gonna move them this morning because I'm running short on time. But this paddock's already set up. This pasture area is already set up for the next move for the steer. So it's, hopefully this is gonna be a good system. All right, power's all hooked up, fence is running, and I'm running too. So my total elapsed time this morning for doing all that was two hours. Uh, longer than I'd like, but better than it's been in the past. So I still got some improvement I can do there, but that's not bad. Now I gotta hustle, clean up, and bail for an appointment. All right, next day for doing some moves. Next day. I already fed these guys, but you see I took their their poultry netting area and I shrunk it down so it's just around these because I'm about to move the steers in here and I want them to have maximum access. Steers are back here. I'm gonna grab the fence here. Oh, pull it back to about here or so. They're gonna walk in to this one and then I'm gonna move some posts and set it so it goes back around so I can take keep that waterer in service for these guys for this rotation. That sounds pretty complicated. And that gets even more interesting is when I'm done with that, I need to actually move this fencing, like pull it all this way so that I can have unrestricted access to that whole area where the steers are now for moving the chickens in tomorrow. All right, step one though, gotta pull the plug. Give myself my access. Step on it, it won't work. Hang on. Ooh, cheeky bugger. All right, plug pulled. Well, you can definitely see the difference about where they've been and where they are now. So this was one day's worth of mowing over here. And that looks good. There's a couple of things like uh, far out there that I might want to go out there and just, for my own sanity, just cut those back. But it looks good. You could see now that I collected up the inline posts, this whole side where they were is now wide open. So tomorrow, when I bring the hens over, I can drive them right out do a U-turn out there in the woods, come right across and out into the pasture and get them set up with a nice big area that they can uh, spend the day running around at. Ideally though, I'm gonna get them pushed up into this corner where all the poops are, all the meadow muffins, so that they can scratch those and spread them around and eat whatever's in there and minimize flies and that kind of stuff, which annoys the cows. Hard at work, filling the water trough. Whew. Much more can I take? Steers.
gnat steers. Tell you what though, that is a very pleasant sight. Right, there's the meat birds. Having a good drink this morning. I raised up their tray so that it swings a lot more to try and cut down on birds doing that and it's not working. Really? Now you're just flexing. Oh well. Well, you can see they're getting bigger and they're being ugly, you know, because this is what happens. Their feathers just, they all fall out and then they grow back slow. So they look a little, a little mangy. Rhode Island Reds are very active. A very active bird. So it's rare for me to move them and have one of them not sneak out somehow. I think they plan it. It's been a quiet week. It's been nice. So we're just over a week away from taking our first steer in to be processed. And uh, so that'll be a new experience. I'm more concerned about how do I, I, I know I can load all of the steers into the livestock trailer, I'm wondering how I load just one steer into the livestock trailer. So I've got some thoughts about it. I'll take the whole corral area, take that apart, set it back up where they're gonna be, and I'll turn it into like a chute so that I can narrow it down and pick which steer is going where. See if I can make that work. That may be a bit more of a pipe dream than what I'm actually able to carry out. Um, but that won't happen before the next video that's actually going to be next Tuesday, so a week from today when you see this. So a week from when you see this. So that's uh, that's coming up in the future. That's something I'm looking at. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet. I have all of my chains at the uh, shop getting sharpened because I've tried doing it myself, and I'm not very good at it. So the chains for my chainsaw, once that gets back, I'll go back to cutting down trees and, and just slowly, gently opening up a little bit more area for pasture. And uh, then I'm gonna have to dispose of that wood, either burning it or trying to chip it up or something. I gotta work on that a little bit too. So, yeah, I think that's, I think that's gonna do it from here. We'll talk to you guys later.